was very tough. Uh, I still remember those three years. I came here, I start life just from the scratch. Uh, what I mean is, uh, it's not easy, you know, when you come to the United States, you know, you, you, you don't have everything for you, you know. Asuget Gosa, uh, originally from Ethiopia. Uh, I drive taxi and then I have a full time also at Voice of America. Well, uh, you got to be honest and then active and then you have to know all the area and they have to have patience when you drive a taxi. It's been eight years. This is my uh, part time job. I, have. I do it uh, before I come to work. I do this and uh, uh, for maybe like five hours. Sometimes six hours. I mean, there are bad and good experience. Uh, what I mean is, good experience, I meet different kind of people. Oh, I met uh, a senator, I met mayors, I met uh, also some celebrities. I have also bad experience from this job. It's, it is a risky, uh, especially at night. Sometimes, you know, this uh, taxi business has some uh, risk. So we don't know the people whom we are picking. So that's why it is very risky. And I get some bad people. Sometimes they get to my car and then they start arguing me, uh, you know, they don't want to pay the money. And then sometimes when I drop them to the, their destination, instead of paying me, they start open the door and then run away. Sometimes they try to ha attack me. They are always thinking that we have money because we are always uh, getting cash. I write from where I pick him, uh -huh. and then I write also where I'm going to drop him, uh -huh. and then the time and the tip what he gave me. Okay. So, for example, if uh, if something happened during that time, what the police does is they they all come and check my manifest. Um, when I got this, I took a two weeks training, uh -huh. and then uh, there was two tests I have to pass. And, uh, I was not planning to stay here, so. But after I came here, my wife wouldn't like to go back. She wants to stay here. So I had to start a job in with a low wage, very low wage, working over, you know, overnight, late in the night. And, uh, so I was working like that for like three years. And then I was just devastating, very mad now why I came. I was cursing every day why I came to this country I thought the life was supposed to be good but uh, uh, it didn't so I met one lady she, you know she she usually comes to bring her car for her to wash and I, I, and then she she told me that you seems like active how about if I get you scholarship she said whoa that is that is from God I will take it I said she saw me and then she saw my potential and then that's why she gave me, she offered me a scholarship in you know, a computer school. And I didn't know that she owns a school herself. Well, I took, you know, some of the course and uh, after like a year or two, and you know, she, she hired me also, she gave me, she promoted me as a lead technician. I was working there. And then after a year, you know, the, the school has been closed. And then one of the professor, professor got me another job, the place where I am now at Voice of America as a contractor. Guess what? It's only for four months. I was hired for four months, but I'm here. This is my 13 years.